Today I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own flyer to promote your photography and video business. Hey, what's up everybody? If you're new to the channel, my name is Stanley Parrish. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and hit that like button. But look, hey, today we're gonna to talk about something different, man. We're gonna get into a little bit of graphic design because a few of y'all called me out and uh, you know y'all said that I'm always doing videos on photography and everything, but I never do any videos on graphic design. So, hey, we're about to switch it up right now. We're about to talk about graphic design. I'm about to show y'all how you can create a flyer. And we're going to use Adobe Illustrator. I believe that um, if you're a graphic designer, you need to get into the habit of using Illustrator. Um, and creating vector art. So I'm gonna create. I'm gonna show you how you can create your own flyer to help promote your own business, whether you're doing photography, videography, uh, whatever your business is. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here we go. We're inside of Adobe Illustrator right now. Um, I did not rehearse this tutorial, so I'm just doing this from scratch. I'm gonna keep this very simple, just to show you how you can, you know, just create something real nice for yourself to help promote your business. Um, these photos, these, these are not my photos. These, these are just some random photos I found on a stock photography website. So I'm going to use these. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're just going to just block out some shapes, uh, you know, kind of like the basic blueprint of the flyer. Just gonna make it like some kind of random color. All right, this is just gonna be like where my header image is gonna go. I'm gonna make that real big like that, maybe. Uh, maybe like that. All right. And I'm gonna copy it. Make that black, and I'm gonna send it to the back. I'm not going to make this like a straight rectangle. I'm going to give it like an angle at the bottom. Kind of make it like a diagonal line here. We'll do something like that. Let me bring that down. Yeah, maybe like that. So then I'm going to create another circle. I'm going to create a circle here. And this is going to be like if I wanted to put my photo right here. It's going to go right there. Maybe leave some room at the bottom to put your name. And I'm going to get my text too and just put maybe like contact me today or something. Doesn't really matter. Contact me today. And we're going to use a different font. How about Open Sans, maybe Bold. All right. Then you may want some extra text up under that, like this. Bring that up a little bit. All right, then the next thing we're just gonna uh, like add some social media, social media stuff at the bottom. See where I'm just gonna say Mary. Let's see, Mary. And then I have a font that has some of the social media icons. 
Yeah, this one I'm gonna use social social type regular. And then you wanna go to the glyphs. I'm gonna drag that over here at the bottom. And here you can see some of the other icons in this font. So I'm gonna just make that maybe like an Instagram. Like that. See Mary photos. Mary photos. Should just change that. Maybe we'll make that one like a Facebook icon. And like that. We'll just make it smaller like that. Then we can even change the color of the icons. Let me zoom in here so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, we can change the color. Maybe make it, um, we just make it, like red, let's make it red for now. Or blue, we can do blue. Probably change it later. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and put a photo in this circle. And if you want to, you can kind of give it a, a border, like an outline. So I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm going to make that white with a white outline. And we're going to move it back like that. Okay. I'm going to come over here and get the photographer's photo right here. And I'm going to select the gray circle because we're going to make a clipping mask. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to, I'm going to um, select this circle. Once I have both of these selected, you see that group together. Once you have them both selected, hit control seven. And that creates a clipping mask. Alright, then I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna double click. Well let me go back. I'm gonna double click here. It's gonna take me on the inside of the mask. And I'm just gonna make this smaller. Like that. Hit escape and goes back out of the clipping mask. Alright, so now uh, we're going to put this photo at the top, and this is going to be our header image. I'm going to select the uh, the yellow square here. Then we're going to hit Control-7 again to create a clipping mask. All right. Then we, you can double-click to go inside the clipping mask so you can move the photo around. Just, I'm going to bring it down some. Maybe like that. Can I move it over a little bit? Yeah. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Actually, I'm going to move. I'm going to move this down. And... I'm going to move the clipping mask up some because we're going to create kind of like a divider um, so that we don't have this hard edge where it just goes from the photo here. We kind of want to create some kind of nice transition to make it look nicer. So I'm going to move that up maybe like that. All right. So then you can kind of create some text right here too. We can copy that, maybe make this like a dark gray. Um, 
Now you can put the name of your business, Mary Photography. All right, and then you can copy that. Maybe you can put maybe like like what what type of photography you do or whatever. You may want it to say headshots, uh, newborn, weddings. Um, what else? Weddings, headshots, newborn, corporate. I don't know. Just make the font a little smaller. Increase the space between each line here. Bring that down. Okay, so the next thing we want to do here is kind of create that transition between this header photo and the footer, the contact information down here. Okay, so for this next step, I'm gonna draw out a rectangle. Just drag it right across here like that. And actually, I'm gonna put it on a new layer. I'm gonna create a new layer. Move this up to the new layer, and then I'm gonna lock down everything else. All right, so we're going to make that that same blue color. All right, so now you can just kind of get creative and just kind of just draw out some random shapes. What this is going to do, I'm going to make this kind of like a curvy line. Um, it's going to give us a better transition between the top image and the footer contact um, area. All right, so I'm going to get my pen to and I'm just going to draw out a shape like this. I do something like this. Let's see what else can I do here. Do something. I'm gonna make that black, maybe. Do that like that. Do another one like that. Maybe I do one more, like one more white shape. All right, change that to white. Let's see. Let me zoom in here. Let me do one more like that. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to group this together. The next thing we want to do, we want to give this some shape. Right now, it doesn't look too good. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Object. Then we're going to go to Envelope Distort. And we're going to say Make with Mesh. Okay, we're going to do three columns. 
and we're going to leave it at one row. We'll hit OK. So now what you want to do, you want to take your selection tool and you just want to move these points around. So I'm going to move that down like that. You can see how it's getting like a curve to it now. I'm going to move that down. Okay, let's move that back up. All right. Let's move this up. Just kind of play around with it until you get something you like. Like that. Move that up. Let me kind of move this down. I mean, there's no right or wrong answer here. Just do, just play around with it until you get something that you like. All right, so you get the point. Um, see, that looks much better than this, right? Let me remove it. See, it looks much better than that hard edge right there. All right. And then I'm going to move this uh, information, contact me. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And then you can, um, make, you know, maybe add your phone number here. 205 555 2424 or something. Insert your phone number. You can say call. But let me get smaller. Take one of these lines out with a few of them. And just kind of adjust your text. However you like it. All right, so there you go. Um, of course, I mean, feel free to, you know, put your own twist on this, your own style. But I just wanted to show you how you can create something simple and quickly um, to help promote your business. And you can post this flyer on Instagram. Um, this, this should fit nicely in Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever social platform you want to put it on. Okay, so that's it, people. Simple, simple, simple. Easy to use. Adobe Illustrator. Um, if you want the template, I'm going to put a link down below so you can download it for yourself, for your own business. Feel free to use it. I hope you're able to get something out of this video. Hope, hope you're able to learn something. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with a friend. And I'll see you on the next one.